Hi everybody. So I'm doing another video today. This one is on clear hearing or clear audience. Um, how we receive messages through the sense of hearing. Now this belongs to the fifth chakra. The fifth chakra, throat chakra, um, has to do with your ears and hearing. So um, some people, I'm sure some people know that, some people don't know that. So, but it also falls into just psychic gifts. So it is also part of your uh, third eye too, um, your uh, sixth chakra. Your um, information comes in many ways. Okay, so clear audience, clear hearing. Um, there are two types. There's outside clear, clear audience that is objective. Um, and then there's clear, clear audience that is subjective that's inside your head. But it's a little bit uh, confusing the way these messages can come in. Um, sometimes uh, messages come in clear, clear audiently um, in your environment. Like you might hear someone walking behind you uh, and nobody's in the room. That's clear audience. Uh, so it could be sp specific sounds, not just voices, um, animals, uh, star beings, actually stars. I've, uh, I've had Jupiter talk to me before. <laughs> now that sounds a little crazy. It was a long time ago. It's only happened once. Uh, anyway, uh, this is a very specific message from Jupiter. <laughs> anyway, uh, also uh, what can come in clear audiently is hearing music inside your head or outside of your head. Um, hearing music that nobody else is hearing. Um, uh, you can be reading and you literally hear something kind of jump from the, the written word. Um, these all fall into the realm of clear audience. Also, sometimes when you get clear audience messages that are inside of your head, sometimes it sounds like your own voice and that's when it becomes hard to decipher, is it you or is it a message that's coming in? And that just comes down to experience and um, trusting your intuition um, as far as getting messages and that comes with experience and paying attention okay and then there is also um, uh, voices that you can have a conversation in your head with somebody who has a, a different sounding voice uh, like your guides your teachers um, your helpers uh, healer guides uh, ascended masters, all sorts of things, but this is another form of clear audience. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool when these things happen. Okay, so I just wanted to go over some rocks, <laughs> some crystals that can help with clear audience, and I just want to make sure I don't miss anything, so I have a list written down. Blue kyanite. Okay, I have a bracelet that's blue kyanite with some Herkimer diamonds. Blue kyanite is really good for clear audience. Uh, blue tourmaline, a beautiful, beautiful stone. Uh, iolite, also uh, labradorite, lapis lazuli. These are all blue stones. Um, labradorite, uh, which is a gray stone. I happen to have one right here. Labradorite, can you see that flash on there? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, that's a good check. Labradorite is a psychic stone. Um, also, uh, one of my favorite stones, celestite. Pretty. <laughs> that also um, is for clear audience, but it also helps with connection to um, the angelic realm. So that's a really fun uh, rock to have if you need to go buy some crystals. Also, Herkimer Diamonds helps with anything. If you, uh, I am a fan of Herkimer Diamonds. I have a whole bunch right here. <laughs> um, one of my favorite stones. Those are really, really good for any psychic abilities. Uh, that you want to increase there uh, one of my like I said one of my favorite okay so um, also oh and turquoise turquoise really good for that too um, and then there are some essential oils that you can use for helping with your clear audience now this can go over into all of your psychic abilities to some of these um, essential oils um, uh, and they are um, uh, cinnamon, cedarwood, frankincense, 
sandalwood, two of my favorites together, frankincense and sandalwood. Jasmine, jasmine is wonderful. Mugwort, uh, you can use for a lot of uh, psychic work. It actually helps also uh, bring in spirits. Um, so you can burn that or you can use that, burn that as a, a like an incense um, or a resin. Um, and also there's myrrh, rose, and nutmeg. Nutmeg, you want to be careful with. Don't use too much nutmeg because it goes beyond the blood-brain barrier. So you can use these on your body, but also, you know, just a note of caution to be careful whenever you're using essential oils if you don't know a lot about them. Um, use them sparingly, but they do absolutely help with your psychic gifts and clear audience. All right, the first thing you want to become more clear audience, meditate. <laughs> I'm going to say that again and again. Meditate. Uh, some mediums calls, call this, uh, it's similar but not exactly the same thing, sitting in the power. Sitting in the power is like meditation but not exactly because uh, you're connecting with spirit for a very specific purpose. But it's all about feeling who you are, knowing what, who you are. The more you know who you are when energies come in, you will be more aware of it. Um, really, that's that's it. Um, okay, so meditate. Um, learn to listen. Uh, in modern society, we're not good listeners. I don't know if we ever were in the past, but uh, people don't listen. They listen to how they want to respond to what something is somebody is saying, and they wait for them to say the, to stop so they can say whatever they want to say. Practice just listening. And as you're listening, especially to people, Listen to the energy behind the words to see if you can hear that. Listen to the emotions behind the words uh, without responding. Just it's, another, it's a form of observing through hearing. Hear the vibrations. See if you can hear the vibrations of the tones in the words. Become a really good listener and it's a, you'll probably get along with people better if you learn how to listen better anyway. So there is an advantage to that. <laughs> uh, anyway, learn to listen. So, and how do we learn to listen? Uh, we decide, first of all, that we're just going to listen. We're just going to listen. So go out in nature. Listen to, uh, listen to the birds. Listen to the wind. Um, if you're um, near water, listen to the water. Listen to a fountain. The movement of water. Um, it's a wonderful thing just to stop and listen to. And it calms the mind down. You really, this is about calming your mind down so that this can come in, allowing um, sounds, vibrations in the sounds to come in. Um, also, um, this is a really good one, really good one. Listen to classical music. Now, it really should be uh, music that you're not really familiar with. Because when we know what to expect, if we're listening to our favorite song, we know exactly what to expect. We know the emotional response that we're going to have to something. And, and that's a wonderful thing. But we're doing something different. Listen to music that you're not familiar with. And classical is wonderful because there's wonderful energy, usually, uh, in classical music. And it takes you, if you can just listen to it in a different way where you're not expecting, you're, it's, it's dropping expectation and just listening. There is an art to just listening, dropping expectation. So you're fully in that thing of just listening. This will help you to listen in other ways, kind of fine tunes uh, your sense of listening. Also, um, this is a really good one, another uh, technique. Mm, what you do is um, listen to yourself breathing. So just breathing in and out through the nose. Listen to yourself breathing. And after you do that for a minute or two, what you do is you start to breathe so quietly that you cannot hear yourself breathing. It's sort of like tricking the mind to listen in a more deep sense. And it really works and it takes you into this uh, quieter realm where again, you have dropped 
the mind stops and you're just listening while you're breathing. Again, this is where clear audience, like information come in, can come in through your sense of hearing and send this, uh, and all other ways also, but um, it can absolutely do that. So I recommend that highly, highly. That's a really great exercise to help you develop clear audience. Um, and this is uh, the last one, and this is, uh, well, there's two components to this. So you can ask, so this is just sitting with a partner that you're doing some psychic exercises with. Ask your guides, your higher self, your angels to help you hear the sound, the vibration of their soul and just see what you hear. Because some people can do this really, really well. So ask for assistance to hear the sound of their soul. So you're listening for their frequency, their vibration through your ears. So this, it, it might come through the outside, it might come through um, the subjective, objective. Just listen. And it's a beautiful thing to be able to do. And then you can ask your higher self, your guides, your angels, whoever you work with, to assist you in hearing your own soul's vibration. It's, and it's really simple. How, please, uh, it's just simple. Let me start again. <laughs> Asking your higher self, your uh, source, whoever, please help me to hear the sound of my soul. What does the vibration, the frequency, the sound of my soul sound like? And just listen. So all of these exercises can prepare you to be able to just do that. It's such a beautiful thing try it and and you know tell me what you think um you can comment you can try these please try these exercises get some of the essential oils get some of those rocks meditate with them uh, breathe them in the essential oils it will all help assist you in clear audience clear hearing let me know how it goes for you please like share um, and comment uh, let me know if you've done these and how it works for you all right have a really, really wonderful day. Bye, everyone.